Hey Aquarius, it's Dana. Deep Thoughts with Dana. Woohoo! Uh, this is a reading for you for, whoops, this is a reading for you for the month of October. And uh, as usual, this is not your reading, right? This is not a reading for you. This is a general forecast of what could possibly happen in the life of an Aquarius. Um, you know, there's no time on this either, right? It's from whenever it resonates with you to whenever it doesn't, okay? It's like a general forecast, right? Sunny on your side of town. You see the clouds coming in. They stop. Your mom calls you an hour later. She's like, oh my God, did you guys get all that huge storm? The power's out. Limbs are down. It's insane. And you're like, no, we know we didn't. It was sunny over here. We didn't get a drop of rain, right? It's a forecast. 60% chance of rainbows in your area doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get a rainbow in your area, right? Okay, I just want y'all to understand that this is not your reading. If you need confirmation, clarification, understanding, wisdom um, about anything that you hear in this reading, please get a personal reading. You can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com, link in the box below. But reach out to anybody, anybody that you trust to read your cards, right? Um, it doesn't have to be me, but just please don't make decisions off of a general tarot card reading. And please don't give yourself false hope off of anybody's general tarot card reading, okay? And don't binge watch tarot card readings on YouTube. Don't do that, okay? It will fuck up your mental. Don't do that, all right? Okay, so Aquarius, this is your reading for, you know, meh whenever to whenever, okay? It's, it's, it's time-stamped October because, uh, you know, people expect that. But honestly, it's whenever to whenever. So, Aquarius, my darling Aquas, my daughter is an Aquarius, and I love you so. You guys are amazing. The star card, right? That's your card. Hope, faith, purpose, renewal, spirituality, mankind, saving the world, right? Love you. Okay. Aquarius, you start out now. I'm using the root cards, uh, the root cards of the Thoth deck and clarifying cards of the Tarot Illuminati. The Thoth deck is a little bit different. I'll explain it as we go through if need be. Okay, so your root card, first card out is the Hangman. This is thinking right? Not doing anything, just thinking, digesting, processing. What are you thinking about here? Well, you're thinking about virtue. You're thinking about a decision that you need to make that is in the, it's in your best interest from a moral perspective. Okay. What are you thinking about? Well, here you go. The king of, of pentacles in reverse. This is about worried about appearances. So somehow, some way, you're worried about how something is going to look, okay? To the prince of swords in reverse, because this is, this is a card about scattered thoughts, right? It's about taking action with a disregard for consequences. But mostly, I think for you right here, this is about scattered thoughts, okay? So you're worried about appearances for some reason, and I think it explains it as we go through this reading. I've laid the cards out, but I haven't dug in yet, right? So, so you're in the hangman energy, processing, thinking, right? Trying to come up with a, with a plan. Okay, this plan has to do something with um, virtue, right? Uh, some kind of, of, of moral thing in your life. King of Pentacles says you're worried about appearances. Prince of Swords in reverse says that your, your thoughts are scattered. You're disorganized. You don't know what to do. Well, lo and behold, Aquarius, never fear, the tower is here. <laughs> this is going to make your decision-making process a lot easier because this is going to bring you some kind of, not some kind of, it's going to bring you a revelation. It's going to bring you an epiphany about how it is that you need to handle this situation, okay? And the result of this, this epiphany, this, this tower moment, this, this awakening that you're going to have about how to proceed in this situation is clarified by the Knight of Swords, right? This is about taking clear action. This is about having your thoughts together, knowing where you're going, knowing what you're doing, and taking um, well thought out logic, logical, reasonable action, okay? So you start out 
with the Knight of Swords in reverse, with, with scattered thoughts, the King of Pentacles in reverse, really worried about how it's going to look to um, other people, maybe your family, something like that, right? Tower moment happens, you have an epiphany, right? And I don't think this tower moment, it's not... Um, it's not scary. It's not a scary tower moment. It is a literal awakening, some kind of revelation that you have. So instead of those, instead of those thunderbolts right there, let's turn those into rainbows. Okay. So it's not, don't be worried. Okay. I really don't think it's a, it's a, it's a bad tower moment as much as it is a profound tower moment, right? Which leaves you in the energy of the Knight of swords, knowing what to do and how to do it satiety this card is the ten of cups in this deck it's called satiety this is about being fulfilled beyond expectations so as you come out of this tower moment with this epiphany this revelation about what it is that you need to do to cure the problem that you're having um, you're very satisfied very satisfied with the decision that you come to as witnessed by the Knight of Cups. Everybody's the Knight in Shining Armor, romance, messages of love. No, bro, no, that's not what the Knight of Cups is about. Can it be about romance and charm in the Knight in Shining Armor? Yes, but at the root, this card is about somebody who is in touch with their intuitions and in touch with their emotions, right? This is the card of somebody who has made a decision and it's sitting well in their heart, okay? And this is you. You're in touch with your intuition. You're in touch with your emotions. After this tower epiphany, right? It all comes to you and you're like, aha, I know exactly what I need to do. That's what this card is. It's sitting well inside of your soul. What's this about? Well, the star card, of course, Aquarius, it's about having hope right? This card is about hope, faith, purpose, renewal, spirituality. And I think for you, it's more centered around hope. The decision that you come to in the hangman energy from the tower moment, from the awakening, brings hope. It brings a feeling of emotional security and hope to your dilemma here. The lovers in reverse, that's the dilemma, right? There's some kind of misalignment of values going on around you. Um, and it could have to do with self-love. Not saying for sure, but for some of you, it could have to do with self-love. It could be um, something that you are just down about, down on yourself about, right? Disparaging thoughts, can't do it, it's too much money. I'm going to tell you right now, my daughter being an Aquarius, this reading for her would center around school, right? Because she's in, in, well, I'm not going to tell you what school she's in, but she's uh, in university. She's in her third year and it's expensive as hell. And I tell you what, I just can't pay $30,000 a semester for her to go to school. I throw in, right? But she still has to get financial aid and her financial aid was all screwed up and she didn't know if she could continue on this semester. It was a big shit show, total shit show. So for her, this misalignment of values would have been financial, right? The, the, the misalignment being she wants this, but she can only afford this, right? Misalignment of values. It could be anything in your life, right? And like I said, it could be self-love as well. Maybe that's where the misalignment of values is. Maybe that's why you're worried about appearances. Something about appreciating and loving yourself for exactly who you are and what you are and screw everybody else. Whatever this is for you, that was the dilemma, the misalignment of values. But you had the epiphany, and it's a very satisfying decision that you make. This, you're very okay with it in your soul with the Knight of Cups. There's hope now with the Star card. There's hope to the King of Swords because this is a, not only a decision that you're making, but a decision that you're executing okay this king of swords says not only did you make this decision not only did you have the epiphany the revelation the 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 awakening right but you're actually executing it very nice very nice two valor this is a card about um personal bravery in the face of danger right this is about climbing the mountain 
This is about this is about jumping over, jumping through the hoops, jumping over the obstacles. Right? You have you have um, exemplified bravery in the face of crisis. And guess what? This brings justice to your situation. Justice. That's what the Tower card was. Right? This is Source hanging back, waiting to see what it is you're going to do. What are you going to do? You're going to lie, cheat, and steal? Then we're not going to help. You're going to go the moral high road with virtue and do what needs to be done maybe inside of you, around you, whatever. Are you going to take the moral high road? If you're going to take the moral high road, then we're here. We got your back, right? We got your back. We're going to bring to you the revelation, the awakening of what it is that you need to do in this situation. And that's exactly what has happened, Aquarius. And this brings justice, fairness, truth, cause and effect, universal law into the situation. Boom. Decision made, situation handled, hope on the horizon. Aquarius nailed it. Okay. What do we have next? Strife. Don't be scared though. Don't be scared. This is the five of wands. Strife, tension, conflict, disagreements, competition, right? Strife. What's the strife? Well, the strife is followed by the emperor, the authority, the control, the establishment of your life. That's where the root of this issue is, right? These cards are clarified by the Eight of Swords, right? Being up in your head for a good long minute in that hangman energy right there, right? Being up in your head for a good long minute trying to figure out what it is that you're going to do. This is an eight. Eights are about movement, change, action, right? So while you were in the hangman energy, things were moving, right? Things were, were, were working on the inside and you were trying to find a way out. And because you took the moral high road, source intervened and helped you come to a, a, a decision by which you execute and get justice in the situation, okay? To the Hierophant, whatever this decision is, has to do with some kind of commitment in your life. Could I be talking about a love relationship? Maybe. Could I be talking about work? Maybe. Could I be talking about school? Maybe. It's a commitment, right? The Hierophant um, rules over everything that's institutional, right? Everything that has some kind of, of structure to it, okay? It's your beliefs. It's also, I want to point out, the highest level of evolution, spiritual evolution that you can come to in the material world, right? To the Ace of Wands, inspired action, inspired action. So what these cards say is that there was strife, there was tension, there was conflict about your life, something about your life, right? But you, you figured out your next moves in the Eight of Swords energy. And it was definitely about commitment and inspired action is what needs to take place. If you haven't taken that inspired action yet, you probably ought to think about that. Four of Discs in the center of your reading. This is about power. It's about power, control, authority. It's about stability, right? Power, all the power to the Two of Wands to now move forward into the future to execute and procure the decision that you made in the King of Wands, okay? Princess of Cups. This is a messenger of creation. This, this, this sets you free to create what you need to create in your life. To the Ace of Cups, creation. So we have creation to creation. You are now set free to create what it is that you need to create in your life, Aquarius, whatever that is for you. To the five of swords where there was defeat just a little while ago. You were defeated down in the mouth in the hangman energy, right? Defeated. 
to the Prince of Pentacles. And you were like that for a good minute. This whole situation has probably been lingering for a good minute. But now you're free to create what it is that you need to create in your life. Queen of Swords. Decision executing using logic, reasoning, and sensibility to move forward in this project. Posturing as the Queen of Swords, right? Posturing as somebody who has intellect, logic, and reasoning as their functions to, 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 to move through. I was looking for a word, but I couldn't find it. To move through this decision-making process and actually bring it to fruition. Okay. Now this Queen of Swords, right? This is, like I just said, posturing, right? Making it happen. The Queen of Swords makes it happen, right? Queen of Swords, what's up with this? The devil. This is number one, self-disparaging thoughts. Your shadow self, right? Self-disparaging thoughts. I can't do this. This is impossible. I don't have enough money. He doesn't love me. Um, I can't, I can't change job, whatever it is. It's the disparaging thoughts. This card is also about an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. Guess what that attachment is? Your own lack of self-confidence, your own disparaging thoughts are the attachment that is the restriction to your personal growth, to the eight of wands in reverse. This is what has kept you frustrated and delayed in doing whatever it is that you're doing here. To the eight of pentacles, perfectionism. This eight of pentacles, it goes back to that king of swords, a king of, king of pentacles in reverse, talking about... Um, worried about appearances, right? Perfectionism. Something about this whole situation for you, Aquarius, is about you wanting it to be the way that you have it set up in your head. And somehow, some way, it, it's not making that way, right? It's just not being created that way right? And that was the hang up for you is that it wasn't done the way that you thought it should be done, right? But that's where the tower moment comes in because you took the path of virtue, okay? You did the right thing. So the tower moment was allowed, the epiphany, the revelation, the awakening was allowed to happen for you, right? And that epiphany, that awakening has something to do with you changing your expectations about something to the knight of discs and the four of cups again this has been around for a minute okay it's been around for a minute you have been in this state of flux this state of of insecurity for a minute that's what the ace of pentacles i'm sorry god i cannot get my cards right today i don't know what's wrong with me right the Knight of Discs, the Knight of Pentacles, that's what this card is about. It's about slow energy. This guy's job, you can't really tell in this card because they're so different, but this guy's job is to walk the kingdom. It's to check the fences, to make sure the crops are growing, to make sure the workers are working. Um, everybody has the resources and the tools that they need, right? And then he goes back to his office and he implements. And then he gets up the next day and he does it again. And he does it over and over and over again. And it's a long, laborious job. It takes all day, every day. That's why this energy is slow, right? Sometimes this card is about looking into the future, surveying the landscape, seeing what needs to be done. And I think this is a little bit of both for you, okay? So this, this stickiness that you've been in for a minute, this mire you've been wading through, um, it's both. It's you looking into the future and making a plan as to how to implement your own growth and it's also been here for a good minute to the four of cups, right? Contemplating and reevaluating the path that you're going to take. To the 
Ace of Swords, absolute mental clarity, mental breakthrough, mental clarity. You know exactly what it is that you're going to do, followed by peace. And it brings you peace like a river, right? It brings peace to your soul, peace to the situation, peace to your expectations, okay? It brings you peace. Absolute mental clarity brings you peace. Now, what is this about? All these came out at once, right? So this mental clarity that you get is clarified by the Queen of Wands. This is success, achievement, and sheer determination. And that's your mental clarity. Sheer determination is going to bring you the achievement and the, ex and the success that you're trying to get in this situation to the Seven of Pentacles. Because what you've been doing up to this point has resulted in limited return, limited return, right? That's what the epiphany is, how to change your perspective to get what you need and get out of being stuck in your head that it's not how you thought it was going to be. To the princess of swords, all talk, no action, right? That was what you were experiencing up until this point, up until this reading, right? All talk, no action, because you had set in your head the way something was supposed to be. And it's not, that's, there's more than, excuse this, but there's more than one way to skin a cat, as we would say down in Texas. There just is, right? There, there just is. There's more than one way to do something. And you releasing the mental bondage of the devil card, right? An attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. You releasing the mental bondage of all talk, no action is what actually pushes this whole thing forward. Again, the Ace of Swords, clarifying the Ace of Swords, mental breakthrough, absolute mental clarity, power, right? To the Seven of Cups, because of choices that you're making, because of, of choices that are being put in front of you and you're choosing the right path. Like I said, brings you peace. Peace like a river. Not only peace, but victory, peace and victory, all right? This is the six of wands in this deck. This is absolute victory. You have won. You have defeated the attachment that is the restriction to your personal growth, and you have victory, Aquarius. Now let's look at these, okay? Victory and success. All of the moving pieces come together to bring achievement, success, abundance. What else can you say? Abundance. This is the three of cups in this deck. It's abundance. Wishes fulfilled. Sorrow. What is this about? So we have peace, victory, success, and abundance, and then sorrow. What's that about? Well, sorrow to the empress to change, okay? Sorrow to the empress to change. You had sorrow, right? When we opened this reading, you had sorrow. There was sorrow going on because you couldn't achieve what you wanted to achieve. But lo and behold, through the tower moment, through your change in perspective, you now have your mental in check, you have your feels in check, right? You have your mental in check with the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords. You have your feels in check with the Prince of Cups and the Ace of Cups. You have your passions in check with the Ace of Wands, taking inspired action. And you have your security in check with the Empress, okay? The Empress is the culmination of all four queens in the deck. She has her mental, her passions, her feelings, and her security all locked down and in check. And this is where you stand now. At this point in the reading, this is where you stand. You are posturing as the empress to change because you have embraced and accepted the fact that your way is, is not or was not um, feasible. It just wasn't feasible. You had some idea in your head of the way things should be, but the reality of the way that things are is actually better 
in your, in your best interest, right? So let go of that my way or the highway, perfectionism, worried about appearances. Let that go. Let it go because Source has something better. They have something different, something better waiting for you. An end, an absolute ending to the confusion, the chaos, the lack of clarity, the crossroads that you were at. An absolute ending to all of it. And look, boom, the Queen of Pentacles, right? The epitome of security, grounded, careful, vigilant, moral, right? If anybody is going to make a virtuous decision, it's this Queen of Pentacles right here, right? So this is, this is the energy that, that's around you. It also has to do with your home, right? Things are now secure for you. The emperor in reverse. This is about self-discipline. And that's what this entire reading is about. It's about your self-discipline to work your way through whatever these difficulties were, taking the high road, taking the moral ground, and releasing attachments that were restrictions to your personal growth through self-discipline. The hermit, right? Soul-searching and introspection is... is what got you here, right? To the moon, your subconscious mind, your intuition, right? Squinting through the through the through the mini blinds, right? Through the through the wood blinds, squinting through the blinds, trying to see what that shadow is. Not really sure um, what's going on in your backyard under the full moon because it looks like something weird, but it's just a shadow, right? You squinted through, and now you see things for what they actually are versus what you thought they were. To the Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of a brand new opportunity. Doors are opening for you, Aquarius. Doors are opening for you because of your obedience and your self-discipline to do the mental, the spiritual that needed to be done to get you here. And we end with the science card. This is the six of swords in this deck. It's called science. And I'm going to read this definition to you off my wall right here because it's really important. This science card is about the state of knowing. Knowledge as distinguished from ignorance or misunderstanding. You can't claim ignorance and you can't claim stupidity because now you know. You know that you know that you know. It's irrefutable knowledge that you have that has brought you from the very first card out, the hangman, right? Not knowing anything, trying to figure everything out, processing, and just, just hanging in limbo, not knowing what to do. And then you go through all of the emotional, physical, and mental processes that each one of these cards is, right? You go through the whole gamut of everything, and now you know that you know that you know. And there is no mistake in between misunderstanding and concrete knowledge. Now you know. You know what you have to do. You know how you have to employ and implement everything that you have learned through the process of this reading. It's, a be it's one of my favorite cards. It's a beautiful card. Love that card. Recap, right? Aquarius, you in your head hard with the hangman in your head right trying to trying to decide what the high road is what is the what is the moral road that you need to take right um worried about appearances um uh, scattered energy just just like all over the place right well the universe steps in with a tower moment and brings you some kind of epiphany something something somehow some way something comes into your mind and you're like aha it's exactly what I need to do. It's exactly what I need to do. Absolute satisfaction in your decision, right? In touch with your emotions, with your intuition. There is now hope in the situation. There is a realignment of a misalignment of values. You make a decision 
to execute the decision, right? Make a decision to execute the decision because you took, you did what was needed for you to do. You had bravery in the face of danger. And that brought you universal justice. It brought justice to the situation, right? This is all about some kind of massive commitment in your life with the Hierophant, right? Has to do with the establishment and the structure of your life with the Emperor. Through all of this, power in the center of your reading, this whole reading revolves around power to the Two of Wands. Now you can plan for your future. Princess of Cups to the Ace of Cups says the floodgates are open for you to create what it is you want to be, who it is you want to be, whatever it is that you want to manifest into your life. The floodgates are open, the green lights on, and justice says, go, go, go Aquarius, go. Right on. There was conflict, right? And it's been a long time coming. Conflict, a long time coming. What's the root of all of this? What is the problem? Well, the devil card. Number one, you're disparaging thoughts. Number two, an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth, which is your disparaging thoughts. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop. You are good enough. And you can do it. Right? Uh, this is what has kept you frustrated and delayed. You're something about perfectionism, right? And the way other people see you or expectations, high expectations of yourself that perhaps you're disappointed that you didn't meet. Um, but you're reevaluating, right? You're contemplating and reevaluating your future, making a plan to move forward, right? Making a plan to move forward. Some absolute mental clarity, determination, uh, determination and... Um, uh, achievement, right? Determination and achievement because what you were doing in the past was not working for you. All talk, no action. Undelivered promises is what the plan that you had before this plan was bringing you, right? Ace of Swords, absolute mental clarity again to the Seven of Cups. Choices that you're making, Choices that you're faced with, and you're making the right choices, right? It brings you peace, it brings you victory. Brings you peace, brings you victory, brings you success, right? And abundance, right? The sorrow, what was the sorrow? The sorrow was that that you were um, out of touch with the four different aspects of the personality, right? The mental, the emotional, the fiery, passionate side, the inspiration side, and the security, right? You were all over the place, all over the page. Ah, what am I going to do? But now you're the empress, right? Totally in control. And this brings change into the situation. Change. There's an end to the crossroads, the confusion. Security shows up, right? Security shows up. Self-discipline. Because of self-discipline, in the hermit energy, right? Self-discipline, soul searching, introspection, right? And this has to do with that tower moment too, right? There was a tower moment in the hermit energy. The moon, right? Beginning to see things clearly squinting through, wondering what the hell's going on when in fact nothing's going on. You just need to have some clarity about the situation. Brand new beginning, brand new opportunity, financial or otherwise and the science card. Now you know that you know that you know. It's irrefutable and you cannot change it because now you know, right? Uh, what is that saying? Um, with, with greatness comes great responsibility. That whole kind of thing right there, right? There you go, Aquarius. That was your reading. I hope it resonated. I hope it helped you somehow, some way. Again, if you need confirmation or clarity, um, reach out to your favorite tarot card reader. You can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Um, don't binge watch tarot card readings, okay? Don't do that. It's terrible for you. Don't do that. Please don't do that. And um, yeah, that's it. Best of luck, best wishes, and namaste, my friends.